here, Sammy. You let my brother in. Well, it turns out he and I have something in common. We both want to gut your ass. Well, you try, Dean. I'll give you that, buddy. I'm not just powerful now. I am power. And I don't need a blade to end you, pal. Dean! Bye-bye, Dean. <laughs> Is he? He's dead. Holy crap. You did it. No. No, we did it. We did it. Thanks for the suit. Subana Rabil Allah. Subana Rabil Allah. Hello, Jamil. Who are you? Oh, we've never met. But you've read all about me. How does it go? Man kena aduan lelehi. Wa mila katehi. Wa rasulahi. Wa jibril wal mikal. In a loha do one, Bill Carefari. You are God. Close, but not quite. Gabriel. The other one. The better one. Michael. There we go. No, no. Why are you here? Well, that is the question, isn't it? Why are we here? I know I am here. To ask you a question. What question? The same question I've spent weeks traveling around this world asking all sorts of people. 
Holy men, leaders, killers. And now I come to you, Jamil Hamed. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what <laughs> do you want exactly? If you can have anything, name it. Peace and love. If you cared about peace, you never would have left Syria. You never would have ran and abandoned your friends to die. And they did die. No. And if you cared about love, you never would have gone into that broom closet with... What was her name? <laughs> Darlene. Your wife never would have left, and you wouldn't be living in this rat hole. And that's the problem with you. You're lost. And not worth saving. What, what, what do you want? What I've always wanted. A better world. Hello? Sam? Joe? Yeah. We have a problem. Now you... You know exactly what you want. You don't pretend to want to help people or save the world. Your want is pure and simple and clean. And that's why you are worth saving. That's why we are going to work so well together. Because you, you just want to eat. So Eve's making hybrids now? Looks like. The question is why. I mean, what does she want with the... What do you call these? Well, congrats. You discovered it. You get to name it. Jefferson Starships. 
Huh? Because they're horrible and hard to kill. Looks like the whole bar has been turned into the Jefferson Starships. Fine. Well, why are all the starships dead? I can't say, but looks like they all burned up. Burned up, like like a high fever, like the flu. What the hell's going on here? Does every monster in this town have the Motaba virus? Here's where I can see him. No, this is not what it looks like. Look. We're the feds. Yeah. The feds are not allowed to do this. Coffin. Turn around. all out. Straighten out a massacre. I'd like to see you try. Jefferson Starships! Vamp girl was lying about Michael hiding out here? I'm not sure why she would. I mean, she has every reason to want him dead. She wasn't lying about the slaughter happening here. Whole lot of dried blood on the floor. Why was he killing him? I mean, what did she mean by experimenting? <sighs> Don't look like he's here. Everybody okay? Anyone get bit? No. I'm okay. What the hell kind of werewolves were those? Silver didn't touch him. Not okay. But you got Michael to leave. No, I, I, I don't. I didn't. What? He just, he just left. Why? I don't know. I don't know.
they're heading west. Remind me, Castiel. We're west of Kansas City now? You're bringing them here. You think? Jack, let's lock it down. Yes, uh, put a chair against the door. That'll help. Nothing's changed. Either my monsters get here, or I break these chains. But tonight, everybody dies. And Sam, the last thing you'll see is this pretty smile as I rip you apart. Where is it? Dane? You're no different than him. Threats, violence, anything to get what you want. I am nothing like him. Yeah, you are. You always have been. I saw what you did to her. When you got angry, you shoved your gun in her face. Get in the damn car! How do you know about that? Wait a second. You're a dreamwalker too. Your powers, they connected you. Our whole lives. What she saw, I saw. I know where it comes from. Your anger, your impatience. It's fear. You're scared. And you're weak. All right, shut up. Michael hurt you. He hurt me too. I didn't come here to fight. Not if I don't have to. This face you know, but I'm just borrowing it. We haven't met, but I've sensed you. Ever since I came to this world, you're like me, you bleed new energy. So does that. I'm here to make you an offer. There's a war coming, and I'm building an army. You can join my side, the winning side, if you give me that spear. Or you can fight. Definitely lose. Probably die. And then I'll just take it. So, Wild One, what's it gonna be? because he knows it can hurt him. And that's why his monsters are coming after you. Yes. Dean, we should get out of here. Uh-uh, guys. Too late. Hey, Joe. Who are you? You don't recognize me with this pretty face? You're not. You're not Dean Winchester. You're. Oh, God. People keep calling me that. Uh uh. We need to talk. You're the Archangel Michael from another world, and you're possessing Dean Winchester. Sounds more complicated than it is. Why would he say yes to you? Love. Really? It's very Hallmark Channel. So I'm just gonna go now. No, you're not. Until I ask you. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. Chanel, Dior. Louis Vuitton? You think this is a joke? 
I don't know what this is. You asked, I answered. We done? No. I asked, and you lied. I didn't. I know about you, Joe. Because he knew about you. You're the rebel. The angel who doesn't like playing by heaven's rules or whatever. You pretend to care about these things. Pretty things. But that's all it is. Pretending. These trinkets. They don't make you happy. They just pass the time. They're not what you really want. And if you're so smart, what do I really want? Love. To belong, to have a place, a home, a family. It's very, very human of you. And so, so disappointing. I can sense how many angels are in this world. There aren't many left. I thought maybe I could help. But if they're all these sad, lost, fallen things, things like you, maybe they're not worth saving either. See, I own you. So hang on and enjoy the ride. You first, one hundred year old. Cognac. Strong notes of vanilla and apricot. And zero undertones of silver. I appreciate you accepting my invitation. Yes, well, the ever tactful Melanie thought her refusal unwise. She thinks you're a god. <laughs> An archangel. But close. And I'm the leader of a werewolf pack. Why on earth would an archangel care about us? About me? I admire you. Eating on the run, surviving, despite being stalked by those venal humans who think of you as nothing but vermin. My pack has survived and prospered for centuries, despite the humans. Yes. Well, I'm new to town. And from my perspective, the real monsters of this world, the ones that cheat, covet, lay waste to this planet, are the humans. Who made them top dog? Pardon the pun. God, I suppose. God who? Between us, Philippe, God's on permanent vacation. Gone fishing. Demons and angels don't seem to be much of a factor here, so I'm in charge. And what do you want from me? You and your kind, you are who you are. You kill, but not for sport, for trophies. To live, there's a purity in that. Isn't it time you had your due? Our due? There are ways to enhance your, let's call them talents. And these ways are? Fully tested. There were some misfires early. I will admit to that, but I have cracked the code. And now what? Do you propose we wage a war on the humans, keeping only as many of them alive as we need for slave labor and a steady food supply? Because I love that world. But believe me, it's an absurd dream. Is it? Why be the hunted when you can be the hunter? Hmm? He's buying time. So is 
monsters can get to us and rescue him. You think I need them to save me? Please. Fine. You're so tough, why don't you snap your fingers and nuke us all? Is that what you want? Yeah, I do. He can't. Because in here, we're all just mental projections. So in here, we're all the same. So in here, you're all talk. You think I need my powers? I destroy worlds. I crush you with my bare hands. Prove it. didn't think this out, did you? Even if you could force me out, what do you think I'd leave behind? Hmm? You'd be nothing but blood and bone. And we don't kick him out. We keep him in. I think I dumped your brothers and sisters in plain sight. Why do you think I let you escape? You let me escape? Rule number one. You can't have a trap without bait. That brings us to rule number two, which says once the trap has been sprung, you don't need the bait anymore. But then, so are you. <laughs> Thanks for showing me around. I didn't realize there was so much going on. And where are we again? Duluth. Of course. Nothing like where I'm from. What's it like in your hometown? Hmm. Empty, windswept, dead bodies laying around. <laughs> You're so funny. What a nice surprise meeting you. I bet you were wondering what I was doing all by myself in that bar tonight. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what you were doing in that bar tonight. Oh, Michael. I am so not that girl. But you really are, aren't you? You're terrible. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did you honestly think I didn't know what you are? You think you picked me? I picked you. Now, summon your master. Yeah. 
When I gave up, Dean, you didn't think to question it? To ask why? Dean was resisting me. He was too attached to you, to all of you. He wouldn't stop squirming to get out, to get back. So I left. But not without leaving the door open just a crack. Why wait to break him, to crush and disappoint him so completely that this time he'll be nice and quiet for a change, buried. And he is. He's gone. And now I have a whole army out there waiting, ready for my command, ready for this. And you know what they say, he who hesitates disintegrates. Now, this just feels right. Hope <clears throat> is an amazing thing, <laughs> isn't it? You had no chance of winning this. None. But you had hope. Hope that I wouldn't see you coming, but I saw everything. This will be the end of him. Can't you tell us I'll set up a meeting? Yes. And now I have my perfect vessel. I've just destroyed the one weapon that could really hurt me. Thanks for being that, by the way. Don't interrupt me. You think these can hold me? Yes, we do. Dean. Come on, Dean. Are you in there? Dean's not home right now. Please leave a message. Look at you. Playing nursemaid to a Nephilim. Nothing like the Castiel I knew. He would have never been so anemic. You're confusing loyalty and compassion with weakness. Tell me. Why do you love this world enough to risk your own life? Tell me, why do you hate this world enough to burn it to the ground? Because I can. Because... Me and my brother, my Lucifer, when we fought in my world, we thought that God would come back. Give us answers. Why he'd gone. What we'd done. But instead, do you know what happened? Nothing. No God. Nothing. And now, now that I'm in here, now I know why. God, Chuck, is a writer. And like all writers, he churns out draft after draft. My world, this world, nothing but failed drafts. And when he realizes that they're flawed, he moves on and tries again. No, that's not how. Why would he do that? Because he doesn't care about you, me, anything. Now, at first, I thought I'd do it better. Show him. Be more God than God. But now, I just want to burn every one of his little worlds until I catch up to the old man. And then what? He 
even God can die. Hello, boys. could have burned them all, but I'm feeling very hands-on. Michael. That's right. I thought you'd appreciate this vessel. You let her go. Please, she's much sturdier than she looks. Must be the hundreds of years of magic. Rowena never would have let you in. She didn't want to say yes, but... is all in your mind. You're not Dean. I was. For a while. But it didn't work out. It was him. Not me. And now I'm looking for a new home. Uh, and you think... If you say yes, I'll make you this promise. I'll leave you alive. I'll live either way. Excuse me? Fate says Sam Winchester's going to off me, which makes dinners a bit awkward, but does give one a certain sense of security. So whilst I'm flattered, I think we can both do better. Hmm. Fine. Then how about this? I'll leave you alive. Find another host. And then I'll kill every one of the people in this bunker. Everyone you care about. And you do care about them. No matter what you tell them. No matter what you tell yourself. So. Say yes. The choice is yours. I had no intention of keeping my word. But I think she knew that. If only Dean had used that coffin when he had the chance. Never too late for a good idea. I feel the same. I am the commander of the host. I am the cleanser of worlds. I will not be challenged by a child. I'm not a child. I'm the son of Lucifer. I'm a hunter. I am a Winchester. Jack, no! You won't hurt anyone ever again. Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>